Hello friends, hello friends and bone collectors around the world and welcome to our channel. Today we have a coin collection, a collection of coin from Austria. And this is a shilling and a grossen. And we have here the uncirculated uh, one groschen or one shilling from 1965. This is a proof coin and unfortunately it was uh, uh, put away and but still in a very very good condition because this is a proof coin and only few of these has been minted and uh, this is a aluminum bronze and in a toned condition already and there is a rainbow color i don't know if you can see this this is a rainbow colored uh, coin already and in a very good mint condition and uh, this is the front or the obverse and uh, the state name republic Austerich or uh, uh, republico or uh, republic of austria and this is a 1965 mint and uh, this is a 4.2 gram coin and the diameter is uh, 22.5 and on the obverse or the back of the coin is the they call this the idlewise or the flower idlewise leontopodium alpinium or leontopodium nebali ssp and the face value in words ain shilling and the engraver of this is uh, ferdinand wells and only few of this has been minted because on 1965 uh, this is a fork coin and uh, only 27,000 of this has been made or 27,900 to be exact and we have also the circulated uh, one uh, shilling this is a 1996 or 1990 uh, one shilling and also a brass coin and this one uh, they minted uh, 65 million of this and this is a circulated uh, coin the only difference is uh, the thickness as you can see they are uh, the value is the same but the thickness this is a little bit uh, thick compared to this old uh, one shilling because they have a 30 30 years gap so they minted the uh, a regular coin this is a aluminum brass or aluminum bronze and uh, this is a round coin and the middle alignment is both going up as you can see this one is shiny because it's still a very in very la latest or the newest uh, version and this one is dark because it is already toned but uh, a lot of collectors prefer this uh, toned uh, coin because uh, this is a quite old already 50 years i think or 60 years compared to this uh, uh, 20 year old coin and this is a 1966 and this is the 1996 or 1965 rather and this is uh, both a common coins Uh, next we have here the 10 groschen this is a common coin also and this is one is made of uh, chip metal and this is aluminum and this one is a 19 93 i think let's see 
is in 1983. This is a 1983 coin, and they minted this uh, during 1950s until 2001, uh, 1951 to 2001. So, a 50 year old uh, coin, but this one is a 1983. So a 20 year old uh, coin also and on here on the obverse, this is the obverse, the front is the coat of arms of Austria, an eagle and carries the Austrian escutcheon with the broken chains to signify Austria as an independent country, the state's uh, title and the face value in scallop trim and as i can remember i think austria was also a member of the soviet union was uh, correct me if i'm wrong that is why they we made this broken chain to signify that they are a independent country and the lettering here uh, number 10 and also on the right uh, corner 10 and the public Austrians. the translation is republic austria and the engraver of this is uh, Hans Hottenstorfer and on the reverse on the other side is the face value and year of the coin this is uh, 1983 and the lettering 10 and the year 1983 and also the engraver is uh, Mr. Hans uh, Hottenstorfer so in 1983 they made the uh, 93 million pieces of this as you know this is a cheap uh, metal so they can make a lot of this and this is only a 1.1 gram a very light coin and a 19.8 millimeter in diameter or in size the thickness is 1.5 millimeter and was demonetized on year 2002 because they replaced it with the new coins and they i think they joined the the euro or the european union so this is it uh coins from austria the one uh, shilling and the 10 groschen from austria this is a uh, money collector uh, this is a quick uh, uh, video because uh, uh, tomorrow i will go to a vacation so I will not leave you hanging and uh, please uh, wait for my return and because I will bring a lot a lot of coins because I will go to a tour around the world maybe for a one month for a few countries I call this a jump a country jump maybe European to be specific uh, the Scandinavian countries and also maybe Asian countries and it's because the Asian countries the currency value or the coins and the banknotes is uh, a lesser value that is why you can find a lot of, uh, of currency and coins unlike the European countries and some Western countries the value is so very high to the international uh, value of coins and the currency so I'm very sorry if your country is uh, not included here but I will try my best to complete the world coins and the world uh, banknotes or the world currency so don't forget to subscribe uh, please share it on your social media Facebook and Twitter and uh, please subscribe to this channel and uh, if you have a channel leave a comment so I can visit your channel thank you for watching and this is money collector see you on our next videos.